the Krusty Krab Pizza. It's the Pizza on 22 Tiger, dude. Hey, everybody. This is going to be my review for Pizza Delivery. And it is requested by Invader R. Chris. All right. So, Pizza Delivery is about when the Krusty Krab starts selling pizza. Well, actually, they uh, so there was a call from the customer saying that they had pizza. Mr. Krabs, you know, with thinking about money, decides to actually sell pizza, except made out of the Krabby Patty. So, it's actually a Krabby Patty Krusty Krab pizza. So, SpongeBob and Patrick, they have to go on a faraway journey to deliver this one box of pizza to the customer. So, Spongebob is known for having very creative and simple plots. And I've said this plenty of times in my Spongebob reviews. And I love it when Spongebob does that. It doesn't have to be complex. It doesn't have to be convoluted. All you need is a great storytelling, but making it simple. And Pizza Delivery most certainly delivers that. Because Pizza Delivery is a fantastic Spongebob episode. Not for the humor, but also for just the simple storytelling. And this just very clever journey that Spongebob and Squidward go as they deliver this one pizza. This episode is just very well executed. The idea of the Krusty Krab having pizza, funny idea, I really dug that idea. All the situations Spongebob Squidward just went through, they are just so downright hilarious. The episode from start to finish is just 100% humorous. There is absolutely no misses in this episode. It's hit after hit after hit, and the episode... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I could just never stop laughing. This episode is just a classic. Pizza Delivery is definitely a classic Spongebob episode. It's hilarious. It's written very well. It's magnificent, actually. We see a side of Squidward at the end of the episode that shows that he does truly care about Spongebob. And of course, you feel bad for the sponge at the end. I'm not going to spoil why, but you know, a certain something goes on at the end and that's all I'm gonna say so it has a nice touching uh, ending that shows that Squidward does care about Spongebob no matter how much he gets in his nerves and it's just a episode that not only cracks me up so hard but it's written so well and I adore every moment of pizza delivery it's such a classic I love it and it definitely deserves a 10 out of 10 Home Sweet Pineapple is about when the Nematodes eat Spongebob's pineapple. Spongebob no longer has a home, so he has to go move away and live with his parents. But then they decide to try to rebuild his home, and that's all I'm going to stick to. Alright, so Home Sweet Pineapple is just like pizza delivery. It's just very simple. You don't need to make it all complex. And granted, while it's not quite as good as pizza delivery, it is still a really good damn 
episode. I really like Home Sweet Pineapple. It is just a magnificent episode. It's written so well. It's constructed very well. There are some very funny moments. Not as funny as Pizza Delivery, but it's still a very funny episode, and it delivers in terms of the humor and the writing. It's just a really enjoyable episode, and I just really like it. But there is a SpongeBob episode that was exactly like this episode, and it was called Home Sweet Rubble, and personally, I enjoyed that episode more than this episode, just because it had all of the main characters together, SpongeBob, Patrick Squidward, Sandy, and Mr. Krabs, it had all of them together that episode. That's why, personally, I prefer Home Sweet Rubble a tad more over this one, but this one still is a really good episode, and SpongeBob and Patrick rebuilding the pineapple is just really funny. I really enjoyed it. The only flaw I do have with Home Sweet Pineapple that brings down my score just a tad is really just Squidward. I didn't like how Squidward was happy to see to see SpongeBob move away. Like I know SpongeBob gets on Squidward's nerves. Like. You're always going to have that one person that just gets on your nerves and you can't stand it. But no matter what, you should care for that person. Squidward obviously didn't really show that. He was just excited for SpongeBob to leave. He was like a win in anticipation to see him go. And I just didn't appreciate that. I didn't like Squidward doing that. But overall, other than that one flaw, this is a really good episode. It's really funny and it's really good. It delivers on a lot of things, and while it's not quite as good as Pizza Delivery, I still overall think it's a really magnificent episode. You should definitely check it out. Home Sweet Pineapple, I am going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Subscribe to my channel. Comment to give me your thoughts on the SpongeBob episode. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Like and share this video. I will always have Taga Power!